Okay, we're continuing with the examples of solving linear equations, and we need to solve for x. That means we need to find a number for x that will satisfy this equation. And we do this by doing the steps of algebra to isolate the x. And that means we need to first isolate the term that contains the x. So if I, if I want to keep this, this term here that has the x in it, I need to get rid of this 5. And this is a positive 5, so I need to subtract 5. And I subtract 5 from both sides. Whatever you do on one side of the equal sign, you also do on the other. So now the left side is now 5 minus 3x minus 5. And this positive 5 and negative 5 cancel each other out, leaving negative 3x by itself. And on the right, I have 23 minus 5, which is 18. So now I have a different equation, but one that is mathematically equivalent to the original. And now I can, I can isolate this x completely. This negative 3x, this means negative 3 times x. So that's multiplication right there. And I can get rid of that multiplication by using division. So I will divide by negative 3. And I have to do exactly the same thing on each side. And on the left, the negative 3 up top and bottom cancel out, which is precisely why I divided by negative 3. Now x is all by itself on the left. And on the right side of the equal sign, I have 18 divided by negative 3, which is negative 6. And that's the answer. Example 4, 1 7 x minus 2 equals 3. I'm going to start by adding 2 to each side. And you can see right here what this does. 1 7 x minus 2 plus 2 is just the same as 1 7 x. The minus 2 and the plus 2 cancel each other out. So the left side of the equation is just 1 7 x. And then the right side is 3 plus 2. And that's easy. That's 5. Now look at this 1 7 x. How can I get rid of this 1 7th? Well, this is 1 7th times x. That's multiplication right there. So I, I can get rid of that with a division. But instead of dividing by 1 7th, I'm going to multiply by 7 over 1. So I multiply the left side by 7 over 1, which means I need to multiply the right side by 7 over 1 also. And you know that 7 over 1 times 1 over 7 that will just equal 1. This whole thing is equal to 1. Remember, remember, any number multiplied by its reciprocal is 1. So this leaves me with x on the left, and on the right I have 5 times 7, which is 35. And example 5, 6 minus 1 third x equals 1. Okay, I need to get rid of the 6. I'm trying to isolate x. So first, I'm going to isolate this by getting rid of that. So subtract 6. And if I sub subtract 6 over here, I have to subtract 6 over there. And so over here, the 6 and the minus 6 uh, go away. I'm, I'm left with this 1 third x. And this negative sign is still here, too. So this is negative 1 third x equals 1 minus 6 is negative 5. Now I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 3. Now watch this. I'm going to put parentheses here when I multiply by negative 3. That makes the multiplication clear. If you didn't use parentheses, if you just wrote negative 3 on each side, it looks like subtraction here. And it's not. That's not what we want to do. So the notation there is important. We want to indicate multiplication. And the parentheses make it clear that these two things are multiplied and that those, those are negative signs, not subtraction. Okay, same thing over here. Now over here I'm multiplying two negative numbers, so the result will be positive. And this 3 and that 3 cancel out. So the, the left side is just positive x. And the right side is negative 5 times negative 3, which is positive 15. And we're done.